I'm Ryan White. I'm 16 years old and I have AIDS. AIDS is acquired immune deficiency syndrome. It's a disease that attacks the immune system and prevents your body from fighting off diseases and infections. I Have AIDS, A Teenager's Story, is about AIDS. AIDS stands for Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. It is a deadly disease. There is no cure. Learning about AIDS is important for everybody. We urge you to watch with your whole family. Ryan White is a pretty cool guy. Probably just like a lot of your friends. Except that Ryan has AIDS. You hear about AIDS all the time, and people are confused about it and scared. Think about it. If Ryan White went to your school, what would you do? Would you be friends with him? You might not know anybody with AIDS, but you probably have a lot of questions about it. Questions like, how do you get AIDS? What happens to you when you have it? Are you sick all the time? By the time this program is over, thanks to Ryan and some of his friends from school, you'll know a lot about AIDS. You'll know why you don't have to be scared of people with AIDS, why it's safe to go to school with them. People are scared when they don't understand something. Ryan and his friends want you to know more about his disease. Until 1984, Ryan White lived like any other kid in Kokomo, Indiana, riding his bike, going to school, and playing with his dog, Barney. Then Ryan found out he had AIDS. Ryan got AIDS from a blood transfusion he was given to control his hemophilia, a disease he was born with. When you have hemophilia, your blood doesn't clot. That means if you cut yourself, it's hard to stop bleeding. To help their blood clot, people with hemophilia need regular transfusions of a medicine that comes from blood. Some of this medicine given to Ryan had the AIDS virus in it. That was before blood was tested for AIDS. Today, hospitals carefully screen blood for the AIDS virus before transfusions are given. When school officials found out Ryan had AIDS, they wouldn't allow him to go back to school. Ryan had to take his school classes over a special telephone hookup. He had to do all his eighth grade schoolwork at home. Now, Ryan, this is the last I'm going to talk to you this morning. I hope you understood me all right. If not, we'll keep working on it each day. Okay. Okay. All right. Come on. But working at home was lonely. Ryan wanted to go to school like everybody else. But the school said no. So Ryan and his mom went to court. This hearing is adjourned. Ryan won his fight to return to school. It was big news, and Ryan became a celebrity. I'm real happy. We're happy he's going to let me back. What are you looking forward to now? Oh, getting back and seeing my friends and just doing what everybody else does. He got to go back to school, but things weren't much better, and Ryan still felt like an outcast. The day he returned to school, some parents started taking their kids out of school. You guarantee that my daughter will not get AIDS by helping him. If you can't, then he shouldn't be in school. If people with chicken pox and measles can't come, why should he? Ryan and his mom decided it was time to move to another town. In September 1987, Ryan started ninth grade at a new school. At Hamilton Heights High School, Ryan was accepted as part of the gang. Mostly because, before he even got there, the school set up a special AIDS education program. So everyone in the school, kids and teachers, would learn as much as they could about Ryan's disease. The very first two weeks of school, our administrators asked that Ryan not go to school, and we just dropped everything and had AIDS education week, sort of. And then when he came, everyone was ready. I was welcomed with open arms, and everybody was really glad to have me there. It felt great. I think the last thing an AIDS victim needs is somebody, like, to run away from them. Right. I mean, they're having to deal with the disease anyway, and, like, if you're just, gosh, it's a creature, it's a monster, I mean, they're going through this terrible thing, then have everybody just leave them alone. Right. Because, I mean, that hurts them, too. And you can't ignore them, and you can't run away from them. I mean, that just, I mean, that's another human being out there.